They always say that you have that one heart dog. That's Rosie and I. I'm Christina, and this is Rosie's story for GOB. Rosie was found at a busy intersection and then was brought to animal control. She was found with a dog who looks exactly like her, so we think they're either sisters or mother and daughter. I don't think anyone would be able to let her go. Maybe she escaped. <laughs> she was taken from animal control by Pity Love Rescue. They posted her online. I seriously started cracking up when I first saw her. My husband and I ended up getting her. I call her the little velvet hippo. She's got really, really short legs and then just like a little stout figure. Mm -hmm. We always wanted two dogs. Ralph was a shelter in Tennessee. He had been found as a stray multiple times. When they called the family to come pick him up, they just never answered. <laughs> we could not get over the fact that him and Rosie matched perfectly. Like we couldn't believe it. And just after that first meet and greet, we just knew it was gonna be a perfect match. Even with Ralph in the catch, Rosie's the queen of the house. She's really calm, total couch potato. And then there's another side of her that we joke is a total diva. <laughs> we call it her alter ego is Mariah Carey. Somebody's in right? If there's a room full of people and no one's paying attention to her, she will sit there and cry and scream until someone gives her attention. Rosie, do you want to go outside? <laughs> oh my God. She loves to be outside, but she does short walks. After maybe half an hour, she'll flop right down on the ground and you have to carry her. As we're walking by people, if they don't react to her and they don't pet her, she'll look at them and just start whining. <laughs> Ralph is so obsessed with Rosie. <laughs> Rosie grooms Ralph all the time. I don't know if it's motherly instinct in her, but anytime they're laying together, she'll always start grooming him. They have their own separate beds, and no matter what, Ralph immediately would have to somehow squeeze himself into Rosie's bed with her. She's his emotional support dog. I don't really know where she came from or what her life was like before us, but we always joke that she's literally me in a dog form. Everything about her is just so similar to how I am. I talk to her all day long. I swear she understands me because she looks like she's about to talk back to me half the time. I don't really know how it even happened, but we really are just a perfect match for each other.